Hello everyone, this is Ratu498 and this is a 2v2 commentary battle on the Pyramid map and I play as Ottomans uh, Krasnikov plays as France uh, Mahakar plays as France, he'll be facing me and Mr. Jargler plays as Russia and he's opposite Krasnikov uh, This is a look at Krasnikov's men as they're going up the hill uh, Our two opponents hosted uh, so they have the hillside. Uh, Krasnikov is with the hill and the village, and I'm with the flats on the right. So let's just a quick look through his men. And now we'll go through the map. As you can see, Krasnikov's got a small force which will be adjoining us, and his main force has gone up the hill. Uh, my forces have moved forward and I have the melee rush build which uh, my opponent accused me of uh, copying point man so that's very kind of him, thank you very much and um, here the Russian opponent I think brought 9 cav and he's got a large amount of that on uh, Krasnikov's right flank so I decided to bring some cav across and pop it behind just in case anything happens there so here Krasnikov's going to start making his assault down the hill the lights are engaged in fighting already and he takes one of his uh, line units forward and they're going to take all the shots from the lights and he's going to be able to shoot them back and his lights are still going to be out of fire but they're not going to be shot at anymore uh, the Russian opponents bring some more lights in round to flank the French opponent has now decided to bring some lights around to flank as well so I'm going to send in one of my um, cheap melee and a uh, few line and then my semats are going to be behind I think that's how you pronounce it Excuse me if I'm wrong. So they're going to try and make them run away. Here, Krasnikov sent some cav in to get rid of the lights. Uh, these guys we're playing were really good. It was really enjoyable, back, really good fun. Uh, he's gone form square perfectly then and moved his lights out of the way quick enough. I managed to take my opponent a little bit by surprise with a cav charge coming from the back of Krasnikov's men. I managed to get rid of one of his light units. And then I pull all my forces which just came forward out as the threat of Krasnikov is now gone. So here on this side you see Krasnikov's done really well, he's pulling around the flank of him now. And he's got a much larger amount of firepower. Uh, here I'm going to start my assault on the centre, on the centre of our two lines on my left. And I'm going to uh, send my melee in, and my lines are going to move up. And then I'm going to send my semats in after with a cav charge, but I believe my opponent stops me from doing that in a second. As you can see from the back there, some, there's a cav unit coming down. I noticed them pretty early, and I managed to get my semats out before they get too far in front. And I managed to form square in my line and stop the cav from advancing. It caused me a problem though, because now I've got uh, three or four light units firing at me. Uh, with really nothing to really defeat them with. So that caused me a bit of a problem what he did. So I come out of square and then I start again. I assume that's now going to charge. Both the two units are going to go through, my cav's going to go through, and my line's going to move up. So here on the left flank, as you can see, um, Crash the Cost pretty much taken in the opponent's left flank. Our men are running for and here on the centre, my uh, melee units are going in for these little against the old guard unit. Basically, with the one melee unit, even with the experience, I wasn't really expecting to win that against the old guards, but it's stopping them from shooting me, so I was doing a good enough job on my eyes. Uh, here, as you can see, is a cav unit from the French player, one of my cav units, uh, a line unit, and some of my semats in there. Another cav unit has now just gone in from behind as well. And here my opponent sends his lights around to try and flank me. I managed to surprise him again with another calf rush. Over on the opposite flank I do exactly the same thing. Uh, over here we had old guard unit and the rest of fusiliers I believe. And I managed to um, basically disorder his lines enough to be able to allow my lines to fire. Uh, my melee unit's going first to stop him from squaring and then my calf go right the way through him. He sent a calf charge in there to um, try and take out my melee units, but he ran straight to the back of his own line. So I managed to get my opponent to sustain melee, 
and um, I've got my line firing still. A couple of my line are routed on the far side. But as you can see here, I've started uh, a cav charge on the Russian opponent. And in here, uh, one of my um, elite uh, lance units. I took uh, four elite lance units, I believe, and two uh, mounted rifles. So as you see, looking at the lines, my opponent on the far side has done a cav charge against me. And basically, I've destroyed his centre, and uh, I've got a lot of cav spare. Uh, here, the Russian opponent took Krashnikov by surprise and charged four cav units straight into two of his lines, where he obviously didn't see them. And my fault really, I didn't oh, warn him. So I'll take the blame for that one. And um, they got hit without performing square. Uh, there, as you can see, I've got a few cav units floating around now and they're going to do quite a lot of damage. I've got the four uh, best lances and they're really, really good cav units. So they'll do some good damage. So here I've got one of my cav units going in against uh, a French Polish guard lancer unit. And I sent another cav unit in as well because there's no chance one of them will be able to beat it. So I sent two in, coming in now. They pull away and go for my uh, melee units. The guard lancers do. Uh, there's too few of them left now to do any real damage, and their army's starting to row, so they're not going to have too much um, morale left either. So over in the centre now, um, basically Krasnikov's forces have been destroyed on his right, and he's got all his men now uh, basically facing me and coming down towards me. Um, so I've got one Ottoman unit there and my player is now defeated so basically it's a case of if he decides to turn on me with the French and the Russian army they probably would have uh, done a lot better but they decided to go for um, Krasnikov who actually still has lights and stuff left so he would have done better here I sent my um, line unit in for melee and straight afterwards sent uh, two of my cav units through to finish off that line unit and then I'm going to charge my calf straight into the uh, back of the Russian and French forces to make them form square basically stop them from uh, doing any damage to Krasnikov when he's in square because of the calf all around him and then after I've done that I'm going to charge these calf into the um, Russian shoe calf on the hill and hopefully take some pressure off Krasnikov so as you can see there, I destroyed the light unit. All my men are moving up, but they're exhausted, so it'll be a long time before they even get anywhere near. So now these two cav units are going to go up the hill, and they're going to take on the um, shooter cav. So they're going to go into melee now. My um, guard lancers will be a lot better in the melee than the Russian shooter cav. So it shouldn't be... So this is pretty much the end of the battle. And um, it was a good game for the opponents. There's going to be a Cav melee going on now, which um, obviously my Cav and the uh, French shooting them around will win that pretty comfortably. And there's one lifeguard unit, a uh, Russian lifeguard unit, at the bottom of the hill in the trees, which we'll have to deal with quickly, but that'll be it. So it was a good game to my opponents. Um, thank you very much for playing. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Um, if everyone check out. Uh, the Steam Group Total War on YouTube. Uh, you'll see a lot of good videos posted there and um, lots of cinematics and reviews and things like that. So take a look and um, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.